cannot give you back your homes or restore your dead to life, but perhaps I can give you justice in the name of our king. Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about a theory that quite a few fans believe might have taken place in Season 7 during the meeting of nobles at the Dragon Pit in King's Landing. During this event, many characters have their first interaction with other important characters from the story, as well as a few reunions with characters like Braun and Podrick. We know Braun and Pod are two out of the three amigos when it comes to the dynamic trio that is Tyrion, Podrick, and Braun. Some of the lighter comedy in the show comes from scenes with these characters in it. So anyway, in the Dragon Pit scene, Bronn tells Pod to go with him and have a drink while the fancy folk talk, leading to the two disappearing for the remainder of the meeting. Many fans claim the reason Bronn's character decides to leave is because the actor who plays him once had a relationship with the actress who plays Cersei. Apparently the two actors are not currently on speaking terms, and on their contracts, they must not film any scenes together. But not everyone believes this is why Braun and Pod leave the area. Fans believe the brilliant writing of George R.R. R. Martin wouldn't leave plot holes that need to be altered just because of personal issues between actors on set. The claim that all of this has to do with a past relationship is allegedly just whispers because it really has something to do with the secret that Bronn, Podrick, and Tyrion are trying to keep under wraps until the final season of Game of Thrones. Think about it. Throughout the series, Tyrion has helped control the outcome of certain events by using his quick wit to come up with solutions to get himself and others out of trouble. Literally, when all hope seems lost, the Lannister imp finds a way to prevail. This is in part thanks to his helper Bronn, and his former squire Podrick Payne. As of now, there isn't an exact answer to what Bronn and Pod spoke of when off drinking during the Dragon Pit scenes, but whatever it is, it's most likely about supporting each other along with Tyrion, and by this point in the story, they are all three kind of working on opposite sides. Regardless of alliances, Podrick has been serving with Brienne in support of the North while Tyrion stands beside Daenerys as her hand, and Bronn has been serving the Lannisters, directly under Jaime. While the Great War is bringing the people of Westeros together in a sense, don't be shocked if our favorite three instigators team up one more time for a final mission before it's all said and done. With that being said, I want to hear your thoughts. Is Bronn's character pushed aside in certain scenes because of the actor's history with the co-star? Or is there more going on than what we expect with Braun and Podrick? Let me know your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching, have a great day, take care, and I'll see you soon.